This is uh, Nellie Deutsch. I'm going to walk you through my horror. First thing you do is you need to create a user name and account. And you do that by going into this area right here. Okay, so when you click on login, it should allow you to create an account. So let's do that now. Okay, login. And I'm in, all right? But if I hadn't been able to go in, I would have to create an account if I didn't have one. All right, so I'm in now as Nelly. Okay, you can see it right here. And let me walk you through some of the areas. All right, so this is my user. This is my image. And uh, these are the latest pages that you can read added by certain people. All right, and they made it public, and that's why you can see them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top left. And what I have here is right now I'm in the dashboard. You can see that I'm in the dashboard. But I'm going to go into Content, Portfolio, as a start, okay, before I do anything else. So let's start by going into Content. All right, so here I am, top left, and I'm going into Content. My content is where I add my initial information, all right? But there's other information here as well. So notice what I get now. I get public pictures. I'm in the profile now. You can see it's grayed out. Files, journal, resume, plans, and notes. So go into each one of these. First thing, I'm going to make sure that my name is correct. Okay, and that's right here. There's my name, first name, last name. Display name will be Nelly. You can change that. And then you add your introduction right here. And you've got an editor. All right, so I hope the errors don't confuse you a lot, but that's what uh, I'm showing you right now. All right, so next I'm going to go into, and then I save. Don't forget to save once you add information. Okay, this is, I only have hello right now. Next, I'm going to go into contact. Notice I have contact information, messaging in general. So I might want to go into, this is under profile. Okay, here's the profile. Notice how it works here. And once you get the idea, you shouldn't have any problems following the navigation. All right, so the menu bar, I'm under profile. All right, here's the profile. And then under profile, I have about me. That's where I am now. Contact information, messaging, and then general. Go into each of these and see what's there. Explore, explore, and learn as you do. All right, so next I'm going to make sure that my contact information is correct. Then I'll go into messaging, and then I can add my ICQ if I have it, Jabber, and so on. General, okay, my occupation and industry. Don't forget to save. All right, contact information, official website, personal website address, blog address, postal address, if you want to add all that. It's up to you. Don't forget to save. You can also add mobile phones and so on. Okay, next, I'm going to go into after profile, profile pictures, and then I'll add profile pictures. Okay, and, and then I've got two so far. Okay, and then I'm going to upload them. Next are files. I can add various files. Okay. So I'll do that. Okay. Notice I can create a folder too for my files and then add them. Next, I'll go into journal. And then there's nothing here, but I can uh, need to enable multiple journals. So whatever I need to enable, I'll enable, right? Because I want to add things. Don't forget, you don't have to share this publicly. This is only for you right now. Okay, so here we are. I can uh, do that. And then let me go into, I'm in content, remember? So let me go into content back again, all right? And I'm in my profile. Okay, so I went through files, journal, now resume. This is what you have to uh, take care of as you go. Okay, and fill that in. And next are plans, notes. Once I go through the content, I'll go to my ePortfolio. Notice the dashboard. 
and then you've got ePortfolio. That's our next area, and once we finish the content. We go into ePortfolio, we get all this information, okay, and we can edit it. We can notice all these editing buttons. All right, we can also delete whatever is there, okay, that was made public. You don't have to make things public, but notice here, create pages. All right, and that's it, or is it? No. Next, notice after we go through the page collections, share and export. So let's go through that now. We'll go to collections. Okay, this is where you add your collections, new collection of pages and so on, and then share. Whatever you have, you can decide how you want to share it. Okay, your pages. You can share it Okay, let's go into your profile, my profile page, for example. And I can decide how I want to share it. Now, this is very important because you might be want, working on your work, so you don't want to make it public. So you can decide whether you want to make it public, logged in users, friends on the Mahara, or share in your groups. And then don't forget to save. If you don't want to share it with anybody, it won't be shared until you make it accessible. All right? So it's up to you. You can also choose the login users that you want. And you can decide from when to. All right. So that's it. Um, we've gone through everything except for one little thing, and that's export. Export means to your computer system. All right. And there are two ways you can... Uh, export whatever you have and once you export you can add it somewhere else in other places like your blog if you've got a blog that allows you to import things and I'm talking about more than folders I'm talking about exe files and so on all right so to learn more about it you'll do that later on first of all take care of the following again go to the content and e-portfolio but start with the content that's what you're going to focus on at the beginning so good luck and enjoy your e-portfolio it's a process so don't feel like you have to work too quickly but work regularly that really helps thank you